This transition is our Komodo dragon. Let's take a look at it. So Melane's going to come into a horizontal belly down position. Let's go ahead and come all the way to prone. Excellent. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do, because this is a bit of a complex movement pattern for some people in the beginning, it's probably one of the most uh, difficult patterns for people to, to sort of uh, embody in the beginning. They inevitably get it, but it usually takes us longer for anybody to get this particular pattern. It's not so difficult, but uh, it, it requires very specific and precise placement. So let's go ahead and take a look at, before we even lift our bodies off the ground, can you come into the placement of the positions of the limbs? Exactly. So see, Melaine already, because she knows this in her body, she's able to actually find the alignment before she even elevates. Now, Melaine, go ahead and sort of get everything under you. So elbow lifts, like start to, yeah, start to, now see if you can start to hug. Now see if you can start to lift up, boom, and there we are. So guys, before you even get here, I highly suggest you start in prone position, belly down, and then you build this technique. So it is not going to be, as an example, it's not going to be arms out here. It's not going to be arms out here. It's going to be one arm hugging tight against the body as much as you sort of can create this hug. Um, it doesn't want to be under you. It just wants to be sort of out to the side, but where the elbow and the, the ribs can sort of have a relationship, a little bit of a connection. The next thing you want to do is place this hand out in its position at an angle to the side. Because what's actually going to happen, it's going to be interesting, I want you to do this. Malene, can you start to sort of walk your feet, just walk yourself over to me? And keep your hands where they are. Keep them, keep them where they are, keep them where they are, keep them where they are. Good, hold, hold. And now get yourself right here. Get your feet back here. So guys, do you notice what position she's in right now? Look, she's basically in a wide arm push-up position. So now leave the alignment. Walk your feet back over to where they came from. Beautiful. Now bring this foot where you would normally place it for your Komodo dragon. Yes. And now, this foot is where she would normally have it. Now, there you go. Now start to press and lift. She made some tiny adjustments, and there's her position. So this is where a lot of people experience their first failure with this transition, is they don't place the limbs in the right place, okay? So we want to get proper placement. Now, let's bring it up again. Excellent. Big shoulder girdle press. I need a cobra hood-like action. Next, Melaine is going to take a step with her left arm. She's not going to step her left arm directly beside her right. Her left hand will not be here. She needs to create the same shape that she has right now formed. She rotates this hand because notice this, her hands right now are both facing you guys. So when she takes her next step, where do her hands need to turn to? Facing away from you. So she goes ahead and takes that first step here. Then she brings this hand around. And of course it's gonna be placed up high because she needs the same alignment. She's gonna place her hand to the floor. She's gonna place the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So this is what makes this pattern quite complicated for people when they're learning it. She's at an angle the entire time. She's at an angle. So now she needs to create an angle again. So look, her hand's gonna be over here, not alongside. It's not going to be parallel with it. It's going to be over here. So bring that angle. Take that step. Look at this step. Guys, if she brings this foot here, she's going to be in a lunge and she's going to be back to walking upright again. She needs to leave her foot back here, keep her knee low, and stay horizontal or belly down to the ground if she wants to keep crawling. Okay? 
So she walks. And now she lowers down. So now she's actually going to find the rhythm of this particular crawling pattern. Beautiful. Okay, well done. So here we go. Two more. If we could. Two more steps. Step. Good. There's one. Beautiful. Lowering. Rising. Lowering. Let's take one more. Rising. And hold. Beautiful. All right, guys. So that is a beautiful demonstration of the uh, Komodo dragon. And that is you know, one variation of this transition. There are other ways to locomote across the floor in a belly down position. Uh, this is not the only way that it can be done. But if you want something that is the most functional crawling pattern that is, that is, that is purposefully uh, imitating a lizard, this is, this is probably as close as you're going to get. Because understanding that a lizard's arms and the way their gait is built, uh, they are, their hands and arms and shoulders are built in this manner of like a 90 degree angle here. So the way they crawl is like this. So if you can come back into position one more time. So again, to emulate this animal is to understand that it takes big steps. It's a stepping, walking gait. Beautiful. So you notice how she's, if you could imagine her as this very ancient giant lizard just sort of walking across the earth, this is the way that this pattern sort of expresses itself. Beautiful. Now, if you want a more advanced variation of that, then what I would suggest is that you stay low during the transition. This is very difficult. Let's see if you can, uh, can find it in you today. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to ask her to do something that takes a lot of strength to do, which is not come up and rest, but rather stay low the entire time. So she's going to stay in this bent arm position. <laughs> yes, it's tough. Okay. Totally tough. But that was a beautiful example of what it, this looks like for you to be in the struggle. And you need to be in that struggle, guys, because if you're going to learn this, you're also going to make mistakes developing uh, not only the, the pattern, but you're going to fail as you develop the strength. And that's what, that's what growing is. It's going to be failing and then achieving, and failing and achieving. So if you don't like to fail, you're, you're probably, uh, you know, you're probably in the wrong, um, you're probably in the wrong mindset for someone who's really, really inspired to grow, because growth and failure are like two different sides of the same coin. You're gonna have to be in, you know, willing to and, and, and be in love with failure. So failure in this case is getting as low as you can to the ground while you're crawling and you know, getting maybe one step and falling and getting to your maximum, you know, fail. Full everything you've got and fail and get back up again and travel. So stay with it, don't give up. But again, one of the original crawling patterns that you can start to develop for real power and strength, that is the Komodo dragon.